What do I love about Dana? Um, you know what? Let's be honest with you, I can't stand her. <laughs> She's the most self-consumed. It's all about me. Look at me dance. Look at my legs. Look at me <laughs> flip it. Um, I'll just be glad when this whole thing's over, really, and I can go back to uh, yep. to playing uh, World of Warcraft. So Dana, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what do you think about Matt? <laughs> Probably his sense of humor. What drives you crazy? Probably his sense of humor. So she's she's been amazing, extremely patient, very talented. As far as um, I mean, she has taught me so much about dancing. Yeah, I. I had two left feet before this. Now I have two right feet. <laughs> Just absolutely total difference. I'm a different guy altogether. And I can dance too. Our next contestant was a last minute replacement last month and scored 19 from our judges. After having a month to prepare, how will he do this time out? In 2003, Chris Laduca was diagnosed with leukemia. Two years after that, he received a miraculous stem cell transfer which saved his life. And in 2008, he met the man that saved his life, whose name was Manuel Reich. Dancing a waltz, representing the incredible story of Chris Luduka, please welcome your friend and mine, Mr. Matt Ripley, dancing with the ever-patient Dana Fiorito. <laughs> Let's hear it for Matt Ripley, Dana Fiorito. Fantastic job, Matty. <laughs> Come on back this way, my friend. Excellent, right here. There we go. So let's start with Cindy Patterson Rivard. Your thoughts on that waltz? Well, I really, I really truly love the concept and the story, but to be truthfully honest with you, I had a really tough time with counting that as a waltz. Um, you looked a little rushed, a little um, out, of, out of sequence, out of time. Um, I mean, like I said, the concept was great, but I had a hard time connecting your movements to a waltz tempo, which is one, two, three, one, two, three. So maybe it's just me this evening. Well, there must have been that extra drink at the bar. Not sure, but no, no, I'm just teasing. I just had a hard time, but the concept was wonderful. So just work, work on the timing a little bit, okay? Nice work. Thank you, Cindy. Victor Green. I'll have two strawberry ice creams, please. I, it, it didn't work for me, Matt, I'm afraid. Um, I understand the concept, the officer and the gentleman and that type of thing, but you know, the whole thing about the dancing, it's, it, it, like, I wasn't convinced that it was a waltz, number one. Number two, um, I've got doubts about your posture. It's like crouching and like, I'd like to see, especially if you're going to play the part of a serviceman your shoulders should be back and your pros posture should be right but it didn't really work for me but it did have some entertainment value thank you thank you very much victor mike well matt here we go 
I think you did uh, better than last time. Uh, you didn't look down like I, I chastised you for last time. But you have to, when you're dancing, dancing is about getting with the music and telling a story through your body. Dancing and the waltz is supposed to have a rise and a fall. I saw a couple rises and falls, but that was your arms going up and down and not your body rising and falling with the music. Okay, if footwork was a little off, you got out of step a little bit, and I understand you're nervous. And I do commend you for putting on a good show. Uh, I saw your nervousness, and you certainly did better than last time. Congratulations. Well, I want to thank you very much for having the courage to step out here and dance in front of all of these people. Well done. I also want to make a very, very big announcement. Maddie is a very, very good friend of mine, and Maddie is about to become a proud papa for the third time. So I'd like to wish Maddie and his lovely wife, Heidi, congratulations. Head on backstage and see Carrie. The Better World Today Association would like to take a moment to thank the Windsor Squash and Fitness Club, as well as the B-Squared Hair Studio, the official hairstylist for Dancing with the Local Stars. I'd also like to remind you that our big gala happens here on June 25th at Caesars Windsor. Make sure you get your tickets. They are $80 a piece or $70 if you buy before May 2nd. I also want to send a big thank you out to all of our participants, from the dance professionals to the celebrities to our judges. It's just a lot of work to do a show like this and to come out and dance in front of all you people here this evening. So let's hear it from all of our participants this evening. Great job, great job. And now we're gonna get some more audience commentary with Tina Wells. Tina, take it away. Thank you, Glenn. Our next important guest this evening was a dance instructor for the first two seasons of Dancing with the Local Stars, and she made it to the semifinals both times, Dr. Maria Blass. Dr. Blass, I hear that your first partner was our very talented Mark Lander. Yes, that is correct. My very first partner, and he was fantastic. He was fantastic. Do you guys still keep in touch? Yes, we do on occasion, and every time I come here, of course, I see him as well. And how does it feel to be sitting in the audience tonight versus up on stage dancing? More relaxing. That's number one. And looking at the dancers from a different perspective, perhaps, teaching it also. What was the hardest part about being a dancing instructor with Dancing with the Local Stars? The hardest part, of course, well, the most fun part was to find out who your partner will be. Can he walk? Yes, he can walk. That's good. <laughs> Does he have a heart? Yes, he has a heart. So that means he can interpret that music with me. And then, of course, being a female dance instructor, as, as you know by now, it is, uh, it is the gentleman who is the leader. And for a female dance instructor, we always have to fake it a bit, make him look like leading, yet still making sure that he gets to where he needs to get. Excellent. Enjoy your relaxing evening in the audience tonight. Thank you, and it's back to you, Glenn. Thank you very much, Tina. And now we're going to head backstage with more from Carrie Brown, who's standing with Matt Ripley and Dana Fiorito. Carrie, take it away. Thank you, Glenn. I'm backstage here with Matt and his beautiful Dana. Um, guys, you did an awesome job. I was just saying to them, you know what? If it's entertaining, you've got me. They had me from the start of the song. Who came up with this concept for the, the theme of this, this idea? I did. I thought it would just be something different and, you know, telling a story. I don't know about you guys, but I love a story. Did you guys love it? Okay, so again, we got some different comments from our judges. What did you think? What can you take if you, take, if you go on to the next um, round? I think, I, I don't know why, but I was very nervous. But um, I did uh, take some of the judges, like Mike's advice. I wasn't looking down. But trying to think of all the things that everybody's been telling me and put it all on the floor is kind of tough. But um, I think we got a lot to offer. And I think if we, when we make it through the next round, we're going to show ourselves to be uh, some quality stuff. I'm just guessing because, you know, I, I walk out on the stage and it's different for, to talk than to actually, like, dance and be good at it. So when you get in front of this audience, is it hard with all these people watching? Uh, uh, <laughs> um, n yes. 
Yes, it is. It's really tough. I was surprised how tough because I'm, I'm, I actually would rather have your job. Would you mind dancing later with her? I have two left feet. You don't want any of this. Trust me. Okay, well, let's find out what the judges thought with their scores. Judges, please reveal your scores. Mike Foster. Six. Cindy Patterson Rivard. Six. Victor Green. Six. For a total of 18. He's like, yes, I got all sixes. <laughs> well, it's up to them at the end of the show. Who should they vote for? Number five. five. I think you should really vote for five. I think you should, really, for five. For the sixes, for the five. <laughs> Back to you, Glenn. Remember, you can see Matt Ripley and Dana on to the next round if you choose to do so. Your vote matters, and you can see them in round number three here on May 10th. So vote for couple number five if you want to see Matt and Dana move